Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here on the road to see Bright along with we're actually going to Red Bank, thank you. And well, close uh, enough! No, Red Bank is a few minutes closer to us. And, uh, yeah. It's in know. Monmouth County. Does it look like I give a shit? Well, you should. You, you, you were the one that, that was manning the GPS. And instead of taking the Tappan Z, we took the George Washington Bridge. Eh. Just, just the upper deck. Anyways, um, what is your name again? Thunderbody01, even though I legit just said it. And yours? I'm the OG, Norcal Dude 599 and I have my companion with me. ESS Man 25. Yes, and we are doing radio reviews on the fucking go as this bitch ass proceeds to fuck us over! Congratulations, so, you are now on the internet! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we have right here a black and green weather radio. That's racist! <laughs> it's black and green, you son of a bitch! That's racist, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so, we have right here a radio that is black and green with L.L. Bean emblems and Eton emblems on the hand crank That's right racist, in front. That's racist, still bitch ass! Ah! Anyways, um, anyways... Well, it's say exit 11 to merge onto Garden State Parkway. Yes. yes. Exit 11. So we got a, we got a little while. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, while we're on the go, in this episode of Radio Reviews, driving through the beautiful Garden State of New Jersey, we're going to be taking a look at a radio that is oddly familiar to the Eton sidekick, but it is slightly inverted in terms of features and looks. You will see what we soon mean. And that radio is the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. FRX5 LL Bean Edition. Hey, it's wow. JetBlue. Where are you landing? Your, your LaGuardia terminal suck, JetBlue. <laughs> There's JetBlue right in front of us. Landing right in front of us. And it landed. And it landed. Hey, hey, it's the Walmart landed. truck. Ah. It's Walt Fart. Anyways. No, it's Walt Mart. Hey, Wal Trey, Trey, go up. Walter Mart. Trey. Oh, I see it. Yep, there's a train somewhere there. Train! But, um, anyways, the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. So, right off the bat, I absolutely adore the look of this radio. It looks amazingly cool. So, let's take a quick look at a few observations. Holy... What was that? I thought that was a WEA for wow, a second. What is the... Oh, and it looks like Mount Holly's doing a special weather scene with the new format. Oh, is, is that the... Is that a train yard right there? It looks like a fair looks like a shipyard. Yeah, yeah it's shipyard, a shipyard. shipyard yeah. yeah, it is a shipyard. But anyways. Um yeah. CSX! There it is. CSX? CSX. CSX. There he is. There he is. Let's see, what do we have? Hi CSX! What, what have? Hey, GP forties! Yep. Anyways. Forties. Back to the Eton FRX5. LLB in addition. So right off the bat, I'm absolutely adoring the look of this radio. I love that black and the green, along with the slight gray from the hand crank as well. That looks uh, pretty awesome. So um, let's take a quick glance at it. So we have your volume knob and your tuning knob right here, which are also black and green. 
with um, accents of color right there. You have a reading light on the top, which absolutely fucks up the camera rate, just like the sidekick does. And then you have the flashlight, which also fucks up the camera rate to an absolute bitchery. But anyways, um, yeah. Hey. Yes. That's unfortunately the only option that I can do with this camera. Actually, what's the 1080p 60i? Oh, I thought you could record it on 1080 or 1080p 60p or 30p. No. On my 405, I can, but not the 190. Bye, JetBlue. You're being recorded. Hi, JetBlue. You are now recording. Okay, FedEx planes. Yep, FedEx planes. FedEx. Sponsor for. Dickie Hamden. Hey. Danny Hamlin. He's okay. going to Tampa, Florida. Yep. But, uh... Flight Radar 24. Yep. Tampa, Florida. Tampa. So, uh, anyways. Let's just, uh, go right ahead and, uh, get to the review. So, <laughs> as I was saying, it has a flashlight on the side, and it also has this part, which just comes out and, like, reveals the headphone jack, the uh, aux jack, the DC jack, and the USB cell phone charging port on the back. You have your absolutely enormous solar panel because, uh, yeah, on the sidekick, it is apparently, uh, yeah, on the sidekick, this part right here is a big reading light instead of a solar panel, and the solar panel is up top instead of a reading light here. Yes, uh, you do. We actually reviewed the sidekick in season number eight. Thanks, so, Mitchell. You jacked a review from me. <laughs> He's jacked a lot from you, actually. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you hand me a uh, 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 one of the chargers? Uh, For what? Uh, yeah, in case you haven't noticed, GPS uses batteries, so... Oh, I already know. I guess I'm kind of glad I'm the only one that has an Android device. Yeah. And you get the cheapo uh, charger. Hey, hey, yeah. So, uh, anyways, um, yeah, you have your massive solar panel, which is right here. And um, if we look here, I do not want to play my freaking Friday Night Funkin' music yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, this is Friday Night Fun on the car. Oh, God, that's pretty suggestive. <laughs> Friday night fun. Oh, damn. Katie, having Friday night fun in the Kia. Yee. Oh, no. Anyways, um, about that. We're going to go to the review. So, we're going to, as I pull a Doug DeMuro yet again for the umpteenth time since this series has started, we're going to get into the FRX5 LL Bean Edition's cool quirks and weird exclusive features. So, why don't we go into the most obvious one and, uh, yeah. Let's talk about the siren. Now the siren. Okay, the siren on the FRX5, the Eton FRX5 LL Bean edition. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to test the siren, but let's just say that they're the same as the zone guards, and I believe that this radio has 1050 hertz detection, what does it? Yeah, it, it has 1050 hertz detection, and it has uh, same detection. And I see an M4 right over there. Where is it? Oh, right there, the M4 coupe. No, the, no, the fucking there it the, is. The fucking, the fucking semi truck over there. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> hey, hey, it could be the train on the left. The CSX M4. Hey. No, but anyways, yeah. The sirens on these things are pretty much a given. You know, uh, it, it, there's nothing too special about them. It's just a bunch of rapid beeping. That's pretty much about it. Yeah, but uh, well, obviously not that fast. But the zone guards. And the solar links, for that matter, have the similar, you know, have, they have a similar siren. But the only solar link that does not have the same siren, or at least a different siren, is the FR600. But that's slightly different. But, um... We'll be getting to that episode. Well, if, well we had that reviewed uh, uh, last season, or, what, or prior season. But this is the one without RBDS. It's the same fucking thing. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You're fucking reviewing the Honeywell again, even though we already did it in season six. Despite not being defective, it's the same goddamn thing, isn't it? <laughs> because that one actually fucking works. And your point is? Because 
if it's a working unit, we should review the working unit. If it's the same damn thing that we already reviewed minus one feature, it shouldn't be fucking reviewed. <laughs> well, guess what? It's my series, and I don't give a shit. Hey, Alaska. Alaska. I'm seeing a wait, Alaska. Where's that the Alaska? Yeah, that F-150 Platinum, that red one. Oh. Alaska. But yeah, anyways, the siren on these things are not exactly that special, but they're just basically the same thing as the Solar Link FR370s and the Zone Guards, and the Zone Guard Plus to a certain extent. But other than that, yeah, the siren on, on this is it's actually, actually pretty good sounding, in my opinion. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Obviously, before we started this particular clip, we put some more clips of the FRX5s. Um, Hi, Walmart. Hi, Walmart. Eh. Yeah. Walmart's not that bad. Come on now. But we um, we put some uh, clips before the start of this featuring video because uh, working there sucks. Yeah. Hey, Delaware. All numbers. But uh, yeah. It's in for a few As I was saying, why don't we get into the next feature? And um, it actually has something to do in here. So if I go here. Yeah, you're probably wondering what the hell is he doing? Well. We're gonna get into the setup next. Okay, the setup on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition, and it's actually pretty straightforward, but it can be a little bit complicated. So, um, to get into the setup, you have to press this menu button right up top here, and you actually use the tuning knob to scroll past the options. You just scroll by, and you will notice there is not exactly that many options to be in the menu to begin with. There's only like about four or five, no, five or six actually. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's about seven options to do in this particular menu, but yeah. But the setup is a little bit confusing at this part. To select what option you have it on, you have to press the menu button again, I think. Actually, no, you do not press the menu button. What the hell do I press? Um, if you're trying to find out the uh, how to select this uh, weather, it's, it's weather, it's weather, weather B. Weather. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you, you, you have to press select? WB. You have to press WB for the select, and I'm thinking, why? Why? What? Why? <laughs> and... They didn't do it with just this radio either. The sidekick has the same programming. Except the, what, except the weather band and the weather band alert button on the sidekick are the same freaking thing. Yeah. Hey, hey Javier. Yeah. Can you hear my sarcasm? Yes. Yeah, sure. I, I think I should have some lens wipes in there too. But anyways, um, here's the thing. The setup is not exactly too complicated once you think about it, but it can be a little bit confusing for new users. So I will say that it's definitely interesting. So why don't we get into the next feature and uh, Nicholas, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry for yawning, but yes I am, but I'm sorry, but I gotta complain about this. All right. To a certain degree, relax. And that would be the antenna. Okay, the antenna on the Eton FRX5 LLP edition. Now, unfortunately, this has the same problem as the Eton Sidekick. It's short and dinky and liable to break. Because that's what happened with your old FRX5. In two miles, take exit 11 to merge onto Garden State Parkway. All right, so, uh, okay. so yeah. as it says that, like I said, the same thing happened with your old FRX-5, didn't it? Didn't the antenna break off or something? Yeah, so I tried to swap the antenna on my FRX-5, realized it was, uh, and yeah, let's just say because this antenna retracts into the bottom of the radio. Yeah, like so. It retracts yeah. like that. Like the ER-210 and 310. Yeah. Exactly like it. And... For some fucking reason, the bass decided, oh hey, yeah, I'm gonna just ya yeet myself into the bottom of the radio. And yeah, that's how the antenna broke. Not just that, but the top part feels extremely flimsy. 
even just slightly bending it like this, it looks like it's already about to snap. Yeah, please do not break that. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm not even applying force to it. I'm just slightly doing it so that it doesn't bend. It's like the resistance is there. Right, because it, it, it's, it's, an, it's an antenna. It's natural. Right. All right, so we might want to uh, switch uh, switch over to, to the right lane. Right. right lane. All right. Yeah. Should be good, assuming this fucking, assuming this bitch ass over there doesn't. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No GJS law. They're, they're, they're Is no it the law? But um. Anyways. Oh yeah. Maryland. Maryland. It says Kansas on it. Kansas, as That's American it. as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, one, another thing that I don't like about the antenna is that this base, this base right here, if you accidentally, like, you know, what if you accidentally Fuck. did this? Is Use okay? the right two lanes to take exit 11 to merge onto Garden State Parkway. Don't know why the fuck my phone decides to glitch out like that, but yeah. Mine's doing that too, or it was. Alright, so. But, um, yeah, one thing I don't like, let's see. Take the exit. <laughs> Hi, Nicholas. Turn left. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> In 92 miles, keep left to merge onto Garden State Park. <laughs> it said keep left! It said left! Oh, my God! Oh, jeez. Yeah, for context behind that, uh, for some reason, having... For some reason, I, 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 I have every right to be discriminated for having a male voice. I'm... For my Siri assistant, but if Ed was here, he would be agreeing wholeheartedly. In three quarters of a mile, keep left to merge onto Garden State Parkway South. So, anyways, so getting back to the antenna. So yeah, the antenna. So okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the antenna. Let's say that you were to have it like this, and then something falls on this. Can you imagine how much yeah. damage that would cause, not just to that part, but to the base? It would rip the whole thing apart. I'm just trying to stay cautious. That's all. All right, good. But this is this is one of the major problems that I have with the design of the FRX5 and the Sidekick. And you wonder why it breaks so easily. Like, all right, which one of these lanes is? Uh, easy pass. Yeah, easy Pretty much pass. All of them. Welcome to Tolls, people. Yeah. Fuck. Imagine, imagine just tolls. Go right through. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just go right through and uh, keep left to merge onto Garden State Parkway South. Easy pass, Pete. Cool. All right. It worked. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. As I was saying, let's talk about the quality of the antenna itself in terms Garden of State signal Parkway grabbing. South. Yep. Yep. This is it. Let's right. let's talk about Use the, the left antenna. two lanes to keep left to merge onto Garden Alabama. State Parkway South. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the quality of the antenna itself in terms of signal grabbing. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Keep left. Okay! <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the problem with this. It's not just a bit, you know, too Ford. fragile for its own good. Right. Yep. It says Ford! Ford! It's not... Wait, what the fuck is this? Really? You postponed the fucking test for the national test? All right, fuck it. Your uh, Mount Holly. What? Actually, they they said Wednesday's weekly test is postponed. I hope to God Upton doesn't follow. A final alert is imminent. Hazy parties with the federal judges squeeze it with the national test. I'm wondering what's going on. Keep left on the Garden State Parkway South. This test will access the readiness district and emergency message line. The test message will clearly state the alert is only a test. Wait, but let's don't see. they usually, don't they usually test the next day? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, yeah, you think Drew just read it, uh, as a result of the net, of the national test and to avoid confusion, okay. National Weather Service. Stay in this lane. Uh, yeah, basically stay in this lane. Yeah, All just right. keep. It, as a result of the national test and to avoid confusion, uh, National Weather Service Mount Holly will not conduct its weekly radio test on August 11th. The test will be conducted the following day on Thursday, August 12th. If the if the national tests are postponed until the August 
until August 25th. The weekly radio test will be conducted on the 26th. Oh, fucking lovely! Upton, you better not... Okay. Silver, Silver Replicate CLE, I fucking approve. Lincoln Park is life, Metallica is life, System of a Down is life, and Slayer is life. AJ will approve of that. There we go. So, but, um, yeah. Back to the antenna. In terms of signal grabbing, it's not too great, but it's not terrible either. It's more so in between, more, like, more so because of the fucking length of this thing. Um, they didn't put that much effort into thinking about the design, nor did they put that much effort into making it a good signal grab. At least in my opinion, because we will find out shortly as we're on the road to New Jersey and Red Bank, near Seabright. She's two miles. Jersey, Keep left of the Garden New Jersey. State Parkway South. I know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyways, one other complaint that I have about the antenna, and this is the last one. <sighs> Nicholas. What? Remember your old FRX-5? Yeah. I'm gonna need you to go back to back in your mind a little bit. Do you remember how exactly the base was heated out? So, let's just say that while I was trying to put the antenna back on, it just slowly started to retract into the bottom of the radio. By itself? Like while, like while I had the antenna on it. Oh wait, so, wait. So, like, like this? Yeah, like that. So it just fell in, and then it, it stopped did. right here? Oh no, it went all the way to the bottom. Oh, so it just went like that. Yeah, pretty much. So the whole assembly was fucked. Uh-huh. Yeah. Raw. Oof. And wow. Oh boy, more fucking tools. I think we have easy pass. But, um, anyways, yeah, enough complaining about the antenna. Why don't we get into the next feature? And this is something that I haven't noticed, actually. This fucking thing. The carabiner strap. Okay, the carabiner strap on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. So, obviously, we cannot use any keychains because we didn't bring any. And not just that, but Katie's kind of driving right now, yeah. so I can't remove the fucking key. Yeah. Wait, do you have a keychain? I do not. Do you have a keychain? No, I don't even have my keys. Fuck! <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, and I left my apartment keys at the house. Fuck! <laughs> um. Do you have keys? No! Uh, I don't even have a car! But, um, anyways. Let's just talk hypothetically then. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the carabiner strap is actually there to yeah, hold some of the- You imaginary keys, will that work too? Actually, wait, 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 wait. I yes. think, I think I might have some spare keys in my purse. Okay, let me investigate. Nope. Who keeps keys in their purse? A lot of, a lot Katie. of, a lot yes. of feminine people do. Yes. True. Hi. Hi. Anyways. Um, all right. Keyboard. Hazlitt Keyboard Aberdeen! Hey, hey, stop the code of code. I want their Aberdeen back. Anyways, so yeah, the, um, well, Javier searches for Katie's possible spare keys oh, in right her here. purse. Found it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Just now Actually, so okay, these keys cannot hook up to this, obviously. But what I'm saying is, this is like a carabiner slot, which means you need one of those plastic things with, like, you know, the curved things that have a little latch underneath yeah. it, and you just push it in. That's what I'm talking about. And if you wrap one of those things around your keys, oh my god! <laughs> and uh, if you wrap that around your keys and then put the carabiner through the. <laughs> Key fucking. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. But basically, if you put the carabiner on the strap of the radio right here, it'll hold your keys for you if you miles. need to. Take the exit to merge onto local roadway toward Pansy Bank. What exit's that? That's a. Uh, that is a. Local 
local roadway to PNC Bank. That's... Oh, that one. That one. <laughs> Cross over the local roadway. So this I gotta, one. I got a bird over. Yeah. Stay in the middle for now. Yeah. But yeah, just basically what I'm saying is that if you had a carabiner around this key ring, and if you just hook it onto the side of the radio, it can hold your keys or any other accessory that you may have. Or maybe if you just want to be cool with it, with the with your weather radio, you could just, you know... Keyboard. Yeah, like a little... Uh, or you could take one of these things... I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You could take one of these things and, like, wrap it around your neck or something. It turns off the car. No. No way. And then wrap it around the radio, and then you have a handless way to carry it. So... That is a nice Cooper. Hey, train tracks. Hey, trains? No trains. Yeah. But um, anyways, so yeah, why don't we get into the next feature? And uh, Nicholas, I'm going to need you to hold the camera for this one because we're going to get into the hand crank right here. Also with a green and black handle. Use the right lane right. to take the exit. Off. Okay, the hand crank on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. So, like the tuning knobs and the volume knob, you have a knob right here for the hand crank that is take also... The exit with green and black accents of color, which actually looks very cool. I will say that, it looks very cool. It kind of reminds me of the sidekick, just painted in color. Now, uh, mind, wait, please. what? I don't know. Uh, what? Uh, that's copyrighted, that's, that's copyrighted music, that's why I want... <laughs> Sorry. That's why I, that's why I wanted, that's why I... Anyways. How did it even play, what? You're... <laughs> Katie's Kia is possessed. <laughs> is it plugged into the white? It, yes, it is. It is. Why, yeah, but it's like it had the Friday Night Funkin' music a little while ago. Then it just, then it just, then it just plays fucking City Girls, like City Girls, Girl Code, Act Up, Twenty Three Seconds. But anyways, uh, you got the GPS back up? Uh, yeah, just merge onto the Garden State Parkway. All right, just merge onto here, and we'll be all okay. But um. <laughs> <laughs> Exit 109. Exit 109, right? Yeah. We're almost there! Okay, so, uh, suspense is real. Yes. Anyway, the hand crank on the FRX5 LL Bean edition. So, right off the bat, it feels very easy to crank. Stay in the left three lanes. But, however, uh, stay in the left three lanes, you're good. Stay in the left. But, I have a problem with it already. What? This Middletown! Knob, yes. Middletown. But this... Hi, Legato! Middletown, New Jersey, not Middletown, Connecticut. Yeah. Oh, well, too bad. Yeah! But anyways, so I have a problem with this already. What? This knob, because of how these pieces of plastic, the black plastic pieces, protrude out, it kind of hurts my fingers a little bit. You're right, we're in true X's territory. Oh, poor baby. Oh, shut up. State police. No, seriously. It's kind of, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say an inconvenience. It's kind of challenging a little bit to crank it without, you know, hurting your fingers or at least rubbing up against it so hard. But here, you, you try, you try. You see what I'm talking about. Doesn't hurt me. You have big hands. God damn. Because mine hurt like crazy. Especially like around like my Did middle you? finger, my index finger. Yeah, you try. It's a bit challenging because of those protruding pieces of plastic. Deer, 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 deer. Off the deer up there. Where's Bambi? The one with the spots, I mean what? Doesn't hurt mine. Okay, it's it's probably just me then. Most likely it is. Yes, yeah, definitely you. I mean, it's um, it's kind of challenging. I guess it's because I never even held an FRX5. Hey, New Jersey, California code, they want their middle town back. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Con hey, Connecticut also called. What, who, who also called? Connecticut also called. They want their Fairfield back. <laughs> Now, this is the kind of bullshit I have to deal with for this week. Alright. It's alright, I'm gonna get him back with his own guards. What was the exit? Uh, it's... 
109. 109, okay. Yeah, we got a while. Alright. No, you're fine. Okay, okay. But anyways, yeah. Hey, a white forte. A silver one, actually. Silver one. But, uh, yeah, the hand crank is actually pretty good. But I don't know what it is. See, it's leaving a mark on my hand. You see that? <laughs> a lot of marks leave stuff on your hand. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, the hand crank is pretty good, I will say that. It is nice. So, why don't we get into the next feature, and that would be the solar panel, which is right here. Don't spank my radio, you horny fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the solar panel on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. By the way, <coughs> inaccessible battery. Uh, actually, you can take that. You can actually. That's actually for the AAA battery backup. This? Yeah. Oh, so they basically did it like the way Apple did with the MacBooks from 06. Yeah, except except you you have to turn it repeatedly. You don't. You, it's not oh, like it's a, a lock giant on. screw. Yeah. Exit 109, Red Bank. Two, two miles. miles. Yeah, two miles. So, we'll be in New Jersey soon. We, we are in New Jersey. Yeah, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We'll be in Delaware soon. I'm going to go to Red Bank. I'm going to put his car to pass. Oh, my gosh. That's... That's... No, no, we're not in New Jersey. We're in <laughs> Old Jersey. Come on. We're in Jersey. How many people wow. want to do this? Over your land over like that yeah, Mike, over Michael, we already are in New Jersey. No, we're in old Jersey. Same problem. You fuck! <laughs> Goddamn zoom effect! With Drew on the other line! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, ooh, challenge. But, as I was saying, um, the solar panel is actually this huge part on the back. And if I put it in the sunlight just a little bit, you might be able to see, if you can zoom in on that, you might be able to see the 10 solar panel quadrants right on the back of the radio. It is a bit hard to see on camera, but... That's what she said. Yeah! <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can, you can definitely see that there's 10 quadrants of solar panels right into one huge area of the radio itself. And if it was the Eton sidekick, this whole area would be where the reading light would be, which was actually discussed in season number eight, as we've said already. But instead of the reading light being Use here... the right lane to take exit 109 up to County Route 520 toward Red Bay. Okay. The reading light is actually up here. See that? Talk about backwards logic. Yeah, but I mean, they kind of inverted it with the FRX5 and the sidekick. The sidekick is basically a slightly altered version the of the exit, FRX5. Then turn left onto Newman Springs Road. All right. Yeah, more fucking tools ahead. But um, anyways, yeah, the solar panel is really good actually, and it's actually, and it is charging the battery just a little bit. Use the left lane to turn onto Newman Springs Road toward Garden State Parkway North. Yeah, it is. Sixty-five cents for this fucking toll. Yeah. Sense? I wish it was like that back in Cali. But wish, yeah, wish as I was you can right see. Where else? But um, as you can see here, eh. it definitely. Turn left. Okay, it definitely has a lot of cool-looking features. I will say that. But um, one thing I should note is the solar panels. It's kind of in a sort of inaccessible place. I mean, inaccessible in terms of sunlight beaming into it because I don't know. This is just me personally, but I would prefer the solar panel if it was up here instead of on the back or something because that would be like direct to more sunlight because right now like this it's kind of like left in the dark a little bit but if it wasn't for the sunny conditions or partly cloudy conditions over here in new jersey right now it would not really you know not charge as much as it should you know but yeah, if it yeah, was like up here then it would be no problem color. now you realize we're in new jersey I knew that for like a half an hour. Oh, you said. <laughs> you said when we get to New Jersey. <laughs> when we get to New Jersey. Yeah, when we get to New Jersey, we'll be here in New Jersey. But we gotta pass Old Jersey to get to New Jersey, and then New Jersey number two to get to New Jersey. The OG one, New Jersey. Oh, fuck. Plus, that's a V6 Challenger. And oh, you mean the? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Two point one miles. Turn left onto Broad Street. Oh my God. 
Oh, we are close. Oh, we are about two miles away from the Starbucks, right? Yep. Oh shit, my heart's pounding. Imagine Starbucks. I'm probably gonna cry, guys. Yes. Uh oh. You want, you want you want you want tears no, for your? No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want, you want See, tissues? You want tissues? Orbit is gonna be awesome. Orbit. Oh my goodness. Uh, my heart's stay racing. Straight. Yes, stay straight. Okay. We turn left in two miles. Uh, half mile road. Half but so where's the other half? Back there. Mm. Oh. Genesis uh, Coupe. Red. I heard, I, I saw a Jeep. Six Jeep. No, it's a caddy. But uh, anyways. Damn it! Why don't we get into the uh, next feature, and uh, uh, that would be the flashlight. Okay, the flashlight. On the Eton FRX5 LL Bean edition, as I proceed to partially blind Nicholas in the camera lens. Actually, actually, no, that was just the ER. That was actually just the ER50 that really blinded me. It, oh. If anything, that just fucked with the, the refresh rate. Yeah, it does a lot. Um, the flashlight on it is an, a bit of an off kilter, I will say, but it's 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 okay because it only has a single high power LED bulb. That's pretty much about it. Obviously, we cannot test it in the dark because we are in literally bright, sunny conditions in New Jersey right now, near Red Bank. So, there's pretty much no way to test the flashlight. However, if I do put some clips ahead of this video right now, you can see me flashing the light in Nicholas's dark room of weather radios right next to his index. And you can see that it does do a somewhat decent job of lighting up the room just a little bit. And this is with the office lights off. So, he's gonna turn them on um, right now, as you can see. There goes the office lights. But yeah, if I go to the back of the television, I'll shine it right behind there, pointing at the antennas of the Easy Cast and all that. So it does a fairly decent job of lighting up things in the room. And obviously, what I just said is being filmed ahead of this. So, yeah. Before I lose my composure, because I know who we're gonna see real quick, you'll be seeing us with a fifth person. So, before we get to that, let's go to the reading light, which is the next feature, as soon as we meet up with that fifth person. So, let's be prepared pretty soon. Hey, there's a show. Okay, the reading light on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. And I had to like, sorry about losing my composure a little bit guys, but I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm very tensed up as you can clearly see because we're about to meet up with the fifth person in New Jersey right now near Red Bank. And um, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm just trying to take it in, trying to take it easy. It's a half a mile. Turn left onto White Street. As soon as we get to the Starbucks, as soon as I see that fifth person, it's going to be revealed. Is it this light? Uh, White Street. Yeah, you got not. Uh, no, nah, you got a little while. So the, the next this, light, I think. After. Uh, there's two. There's two traffic lights. So keep going straight at this one, and keep going straight after that one. There's. It'll say when to turn left. Yeah, it's the third left. Okay, U.S. Post Office, Red Bank, New Jersey. Get over here. Right. But um, um, yeah. You want, me to talk, light, you want yeah. me to talk for this? So before you, before the waterworks start going, you're crying fuck anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so the I'm reading. I'm an emotional guy. I can't help it. All right. So the reading light on the FRX5 uh, LL Bean Edition. And this also applies to the FRX5 BT, which is the successor to this. So I will say I did have the reading light on when I was living on campus up in Albertus, and by Albertus I'm referring to Albertus Magnus College. Uh, it def it's definitely bright. It works as a really great nightlight, and holy shit, the refresh rate. Um, yeah. So, this does work as a pretty good nightlight, but I have noticed that this tends to get pretty warm, and Sterling, you can shut the absolute fuck up with your marine warnings. Hey, we want a marine warnings back. Imagine Sterling. I imagine a weather forecast off. It's on the, it's on the NOAA website. Yeah. So, so yeah. Very tight room. So the reading light is so the reading light is good, but just be advised it does get pretty hot. Turn left onto White Street. Then the destination is on your right. Find it. Oh. Turn right. Uh, no, turn no, turn, turn left. left. 
Left. Turn left on so, White Street. Is this White Street right here? Yes, right there on your left right now. Okay. <laughs> There's no other way. Red Bank right. Police. Yeah, you are now here. Yeah, and now we gotta find a place park. to park. Uh, I think there's some parking spots. That doesn't charge? Uh, they might. They uh, uh, 15 minute metered parking. Uh. Nope. Park here. I can't. It's 50, it's That's 50, 15, it's 15 minutes. minutes. Uh, what the fuck was that, Nicholas? Um, oh, I mean, there's public parking spaces right there. Uh, that's, that's the pay to park over there. Oh, we're gonna have to pay. Yeah, but four hour metered. Who's gonna uh, get it? Uh, head in parking only. Head in parking only. Payment required Monday through Saturday. Yep. Eh, I thought it was Sunday for a second, but. I mean, if you want, I could get it. Are you sure? Yes. Right, You're I'll... positive. Yeah, of course. Sure, I'll park right here then. I don't even know how much it is. I'm sure it'll say something. Hey, here. Yeah. So, anyways, the reading light, it's all right. It does get a little bit warm when uh, when you're using it for an extended period of time, but honestly, it's really great to have. All right, so, if, honestly, I think the Sidekick did it better with uh, with having the reading light, uh, the ambient light panel on the back as opposed to the... Uh, Sorry to interrupt, but oh no. Oh no, <laughs> Rudy! What did you do? Uh -oh. What did you do? Oh no! My hat. Oh yeah, no! Yeah, give my hat too. Oh, 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 oh. Right. oh I, got, I got it. I got it. All right. So. Oh, no. Thank you. That's the source video, dude. So. Anyways. Anyway, so. All right, I'm gonna leave my purse in the car and my camera. Right. Alrighty, but on that note, so that was the reading light. I don't know if Michael plans on covering any more features for right now. I'm Not actually... right now until we see her. <laughs> Alright, I'll get the tissues ready while we get while we get ready for the next feature. Oh, God, God, Sussex, oh, all right. Yeah, we heard it. Um, well guys, let's go. Alright. Now Holly's like, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, we should have bought, bought a tissue box for him. <laughs> Bruh. Maybe I'll like me. Me? Okay. Oh. Let's go. Ooh. Let's go. Yep. The sword recording is it's okay. Jeez. So is it the Starbucks that you're going in or what? Yes. Oh. Ah, there goes my sunglasses. Alright, I'm gonna I'm just gonna carry them. I'm just gonna carry the sunglasses. Yeah. Okay. Might be better. If I did that. Okay, I'm still recording. This I, this I hope it is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is. All right. Coming soon. Are you? All right. Are you seeing this, Drew? Is she in the store or is she outside? Is she inside or is she outside? Here. Well, guys, JD, have it rolling. Let's it's, go. It's, it's going. It's going. I got you. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God! <laughs> there it is. This is the moment. We've been waiting for. I'm getting it all. Holy shit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Here, you, uh, you want to take over or you want to take I'll over? Take over. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. What's up? Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, the orb. <laughs> Hey, Avril, you want to go and... Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's hold Drew. You hold Drew. You're holding Drew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Finally nice see to you guys. No, seriously. Oh my god, it's Drew, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real. Oh, I'm real. Fun fact. <laughs> In the flesh. In the flesh. Yep. Yeah. It is the mighty New Jersey orb. Yes. Yes. She is real. <laughs> yes, I'm real. I'm not fake. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing standing here? There's no room. <laughs> yeah, it's right? so Yeah, we might want to go somewhere else. Yeah, you might want to go somewhere else. Because, uh, yeah. Drive? It was, uh. It was good. Traffic? Yeah. It wasn't too bad. That's good. It was a little bit hectic at first, but we somehow. When you're going through the city, it's pain. Oh, it's yes. Way better than yesterday. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's, for, that's for damn sure. You got the FRX5? Yeah, okay. Right yeah. This is what we've been reviewing on the way over here to pass the time. This friggin' thing. Once we stop somewhere. You and drive. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, it works. Now you know how I felt in West Virginia, bitch. But um, yeah, once we stop somewhere, we will continue with the review. Mission accomplished. We met up with the orb. All right, so we are in uh, Red Bank, New Jersey. We got the whole crew here. Hey. Hola. Hi. Yeah, and you have uh, my ER310 just chilling there. Mm. Um, the which failed to get WXL37 without it, interference. No, KH20. <laughs> because, because, well, it failed to get WXL37 not interfering. That's what I was going to yeah. say. So, yeah. so let's test out the speaker quality real quick. On... I want to 15 knots. So, see three to four feet. We're going to be using good old WXM60, which, if you guys have seen my content, you would know that I have gotten this as pretty much a frequent DXable station just from my house. So, as always, turn the volume from low to max. South to southwest, winds 10 to 20 knots. See three to four feet. Thursday night, south to this southwest, is max winds volume. 10 to 20 knots. And I see ambulance over there. Friday, southwest wind 5 to 15 knots, increasing to 10 to 20 knots. See it's 3 to 5 feet. Friday night, southwest wind 10 to 20 knots. All right, so speaker quality is a little bit tinny in my opinion. It's a, uh, at least when comparing this to its successor, the Sidekick, because for those that have not seen the uh, Sidekick episode, that has Bluetooth, this does not. Now, unfortunately, I mean, with the lack of Bluetooth comes the lack of uh, superb sp uh, speaker quality. So, unfortunately, yeah. But at least it's at least it's something, and not just like a, a doorstop like some radios that that we've reviewed before. Oh yeah, General Electric. Yeah. yeah. By the way, um, I should mention that um, <clears throat> there is a Bluetooth version of the FRX5, and that's called the FRX5 BT. Yeah, I had which the... broke unfortunately. And that's how Nicholas got his sidekick. Yeah. But anyways, now that we got the speaker quality out of the way, let's do the mandatory follow-up feature, which is the reception. And there are bugs flying around me, and that is driving me nuts. So we I'm gonna do it indoors anyway, because we are already outdoors. Okay. So. Oh yeah, let's go into let's just let's just go into this abandoned building over there. It's not <laughs> yeah, let's let's just do that. It's not abandoned and there's no way in. I know. But anyways, let's anyways. let's go to the reception. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the reception. So obviously, you obviously you know how to know where the radio works. There's seven different frequencies yeah. that you can get. Uh, uh, Absolutely nothing on channel one. 
I was getting, inter so on my 310, I was actually getting a combination of WXJ42 and WXL39, believe it or not. But unfortunately, nothing on here. He said I can just uh, decipher. Channel 2. Channel 2. At Regalville, the observed stage was 3.5 feet at 7 a.m. Monday. The forecast stage is obviously this is WXM 60. At 7 a.m. Tuesday. The Delaware River at Trenton, the observed stage was 8.57. Channel 4. So, here is the crazy thing about the reception around here. So, for some reason, This is, this is WXL 37 broadcasting out of Highland, New York, which for some reason should I'm receiving over here in central New Jersey, literally by the freaking water. This just proves that WXL 37 is extremely overpowered and is so much of a bullcrap station that it cost me a severe thunderstorm warning on KIH 28. Now this is KZZ31. Now you're probably wondering, oh, oh, why, why does that sound so, why does that sound so slow? That sounds like WWH33. Yeah, it's not. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Hot with highs in the lower 90s. A chance of rain 40 percent. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a chance of. Yeah, and count six. Showers and thunderstorms. And channel seven. High temperature, lower 80s. Wind. This is a KW35 in New York City. Tides, East Rockaway Inlet. So reception is all right. It's, uh, these are you're pretty much just getting uh, the same the same stations as someone in uh, northern New Jersey would probably get. With the outlier being WXL37 because yeah, over freaking powered. So, just ask why do you have it in 24 hour time? Because because I like 24 hour time. You're weird. See? How am I how am I weird for having it in 24 hour time? Get Ameri be American. Don't do military time. Well, military time is American though. It can also be British. Yeah. Or Russian. Are you or discriminating? Spanish. Canadian even. Maybe even Mexican. <laughs> well, who knows? It could be even It could Australia. be all the races. Oh, my. <laughs> He's doing the zoom effect. I can see that! <laughs> Alright, so now that we've... <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so now that we covered the reception... How good is it? Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like... I'll give it a meh. Yeah, it's a meh. I mean... Like at least when comparing to the 310, it's garbage. But for like a for like a standard everyday radio, I'd say it's about an, like a like a six or seven out of ten, maybe. Actually, no, five or six out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Now let's talk about another feature, which to me is a, a huge complaint. Yes, I am pointing this at you. The <laughs> All right, so. We're going to be talking about the battery compartment. So, you can, so as you can see right there, if I if I try to focus on it, you you literally have to use some sort of like flat object to open it up, and that's this is what the compartment itself, the holder consists of, like literally like some yeah, it's a spring on top of a metal plate on top of that which is connected to this little ginormous uh, yes. flathead disc. There's nothing in here. How the f that has an internal battery. Oh yeah, but that's it's, inaccessible. Yeah, but uh. Oh, I see it. Oh, you it's, see it? Yeah, it's right there. The blue thing. So that's where it is. It's literally the same battery as the FRX3 Plus. Literally the stupidest place to put the rechargeable battery. But actually, you know what? Give me the battery compartment. So this is how you 
put in your three AAA batteries. You it's like the same style compartment that you would see on like one of those uh, one dollar flashlights. flashlights yeah. Yes, that. The one dollar flashlights. Yeah. So for some reason, Eton thought it would be a great idea to just put this little little dingy compartment inside of the radio. And now here is where the problem lies. So if you put the radio where the hole is sticking up, that's what she said. Put it. <laughs> Especially with a she right next to me and one next to Javier, with there's two girls in Women. here. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Now you have to screw it back on and hope to God that it doesn't come out. Again, what she said. Jeez. <laughs> if it was inside Melissa, you'd want to pull out fast. <laughs> oh. That is a that is a nice M8 convertible. Jeez. You but, getting distracted? Is that an M8? No, I think that's a, that's that's a uh, that is an M8. That, there was an M8 that went by, but uh, some that, I don't know. I think that's another M8. Did you get distracted by everything? 350Z, Mercedes. Mercedes. This went from and radio reviews to a car, car show. Review. By the way, hey, as the, at the time this is being filled, thank God, Turn 10 added the 2020 GR Supra to FH5. Thank God, yeah. And it has a bunch of body kits on it, too. Sweet. But, but yeah, so getting back to the battery cover, and if... Discord can just shut up for one second, please. Um, so the battery compartment, this is not in alignment with the with the with the with the uh, things on the radio, and that is bothering me a little bit. But what the, is the screw? Like it's not like yeah, the, 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 the screw hole is not aligned with the uh, with the little crease thing on the radio. But that's besides the point. <laughs> on on that note, so quite honestly, the battery compartment is just a huge downside to this radio i mean yes it's good to have another source of battery power as opposed to having to just uh, rely on the internal battery which is inaccessible unless you take the entire freaking radio apart which yeah you have to take those two hex screws on the top i'm sure there's probably some other screws somewhere else but you have to take off all those you have to take off those two screws uh and basically try and hunt for the other ones it's just like the battery compartment down there, it's its a little bit of a relief, but a traditional compartment like what's on the, the, the even the sidekick and maybe even the 310. And At not, least with the actually, sidekick, it's actually, more accessible. Wait, wait, no, I'm stupid. I meant the FRX3. But, yeah. At least with at least with the, the FRX3s, you can take out, you can open up the battery compartment, put three AAAs in there and be done with it. Like, like this, you'd have to like open up the back and like if you want to replace the rechargeable battery, you'd have to open up the back, possibly void your warranty if you got this brand spanking new, and basically replace the battery from there. Like, no. Like, and this compartment is just laz uh, lazily built. Like, ugh. It's like, really, Eton? You could have done so much better like you did with the, the, the FRX3 and the 3 Plus even, but with this, you just make it different. Yeah. <laughs> At least they're not like recommend Butcher a duo out. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah. Speaking of a duo out, that's actually going to be the next feature, and that would be the auxiliary capabilities right on the side. Right, right there. That this flap is hard to open. It's a uh, yeah, right it's there. there. Okay. The auxiliary capabilities on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition, and we're doing something a little bit different this time. Yeah, because why is that thing popping? It's because it's on aux mode. It's the, the cable moving around. Usually when it's on aux mode, and when it's on, it has a tendency to like click with the slightest movement of the cord. All right, so in that case, I'm gonna do something different. Instead of using the Eclipse MP3 player, I want to play some some actual game music. So, is it Friday Night Funkin'? It is. Ari's gonna simp so fucking hard over that.
Hey, look. Black Beetle convertible punch, you don't get it back. Orb. What? It's the orb. Hi. Can you see it? Can you really? Can you really? What? Can you really? How? Because I can see it on the lens. Alright. Hi. So that was the Hi. Hey, hey, radio's over here. Hi. Alright, so that was the aux capabilities on the on the e on the Eton FRX5 and near thunderstorms. Yes. So but uh, your, yeah. So here's your aux core that you th that I didn't play trash through. Thank you. And Javier, here's your phone back. Thank you very much. No problem. Hello, the power of Samsung Galaxy A51s. That was the A51. That's the A51. Damn. But yeah. So if I may take the camera back. Yes. So. So the FRX5. Uh, the speaker quality definitely was uh, demonstrated through the uh, aux capabilities because I played that song in my car at like volume 25, it literally shakes my mirrors. Like it, like it shakes the glass on like whenever whenever the bass is hit and my watch is... Sir! My... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sir. Javier. <laughs> but... Yeah, the, this... The aux capabilities are great if you're just if this is just like your uh, your typical uh, go uh, go everywhere radio. But in all honesty, you are probably much better off getting the FRX5 BT or even the Sidekick because that has remarkable speaker quality. Or if you have no variety whatsoever and just want to blast bass until it dies, you can just get a Beats pill. He's not wrong. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong. The beats the beats pill has probably better bass than the freaking Spark ITR2 BT. Oh thank God. <laughs> yeah, plus I have stuff in my I have I have my five hundred dollar camera in my pocket and I do not want this to fall out. Why is it in your pocket? So I can so I can you know what hold this. Actually yeah, so this way, let's say if I have it in Wow, five hundred dollars for a touch screen version of this. And it records in 1080p, 60p. My 405 does the same thing. And it also has a 5.1 stereo microphone as well. So does mine. This has a stereo microphone as well. Oh, my mistake. Surround sound microphone. What's the fucking point? Surround sound is like you're literally immersing yourself in in the in the video. As whereas a uh, why not? Where a stereo is just like blasting in both your left and right ears. But why not just why not just get a surround sound system? Not back. Not sleep. All right. So, all right so, but on that note, now that we covered the aux capabilities. Oh boy. Yeah, there you go. All right, but now that now that we covered the aux capabilities. We covered the solar panel, we covered the reading light, we covered the antenna in great extent. Where are you going, Orby? Oh. Uh, should we cover the AM and FM or not? Um, yes, we shall. All right. As the Orby returns, doing a T-pose, asserting dominance. Aww. The Beeb is snuggling Nicholas. What a cutie. Anyways, the AM FM capabilities on the Eton FRX 5 LL Bean Edition. So let's go ahead and test that out.
to answer, and yet every time they put out a report, they have by many governments who continue to do business as usual, and so the result of that is that our carbon dioxide and temperatures are still rising at the same rate they were 10, 20 years ago, yet we've had these warnings for years and years and years now. So my takeaway is that at the moment, we are failing, and we have to turn this ship around real quick. Jeff, I guess the million dollar question is, is this reversible, or at this point, is our best hope to maybe just try to hold steady where we are? So our job now is to, you know, pull back on, on, on burning fossil fuels and the amount of carbon dioxide and methane releasing into the atmosphere and slow the rate of everything so that we can adapt to changes because some are inevitable. Other changes are not irreversible. There are still things that we can do to stop climate change in their tracks. In fact, if we start releasing carbon dioxide... And that's copyrighted music. <laughs> Welcome to New Jersey. Anyways, um, back to that. Yeah. Mm. All the time, the good employees have to you know, pick up the slack from the other ones and, you know, even step up and take on two different positions that you know, essentially require two people to run. Right. And um, today that was me. I was, I was working two positions, you know, and I was... So yeah, the AMFM capabilities obviously work great. Nicholas, I got another complaint. What's the one thing I told you that was super slow before we left? Yeah. The tuning is ass. Okay, so the tuning on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. Would you look at that? Nice distance shot of a helicopter. Anyways, so as that one goes by, um, the tuning. Let me just tell you that the tuning, particularly on AM and FM, is absolute ass and is way too slow for conventional use particularly if you're trying to get an alert from a station you have to look how fast it's going it's not going fast at all the tuning on the frx5 ll bean edition as well as the frx5 in general is terribly slow and not just that it makes it terribly inconvenient for you to look at you know the other stations that you need to get because it's just so Fucking terrible. And it's the same thing on AM too. Look on AM. AM sucks too. But it's just with the tuning. The tuning absolutely sucks. It's not that, you know, the tuner itself is bad. I'm talking about like the speed of the tuning. Because how are you supposed to get a station in time with an EAS alert, or just in general to listen to music like this? How are we going to do it this slow? That's just absolutely inconvenient, and it's a freaking nuisance. That's literally, ugh, why? Just, just why? Anyways, moving on to the next feature, and that would be the build quality. Oh, hello, baby. Hello, baby. Is it birdie? <laughs> anyway, and that's relatively close too. So, anyways, the build quality. So, as it continues to charge through the solar panel, I need to go over the build quality of this particular radio. So, let's just go ahead and take a look. So, the knobs feel fairly consistent. They don't feel like they're about to break at all. 
The hand crank feels definitely nice, especially with that uh, rotating handle there, even though that kind of bothers my fingers a little bit. And here come the stars of the show. It is MG and Nicholas. So, uh, oh, hi. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, the build quality of this is definitely good. It looks like the solar panel is uh, taking in all that light very well, actually, despite it being on the back of the radio. I figured it would take in less sunlight than what it normally does when it's on the top, but I guess it's just as good. So, uh, yeah, the reading light looks like it'll last for a while. High-powered LEDs. Same thing with the flashlight itself. Okay, where's that plane? Where's that damn plane? I can't see it. The display looks nice, especially with the backlight. The tuner feels okay. And uh, the antenna is not that great in terms of design, and it was kind of an afterthought, I guess. But um, the build quality on this is definitely something good. And um, you see it has a very thin dome. But uh, yeah, the battery life is pretty good, although they are known to go very dead within a matter of a couple of years. Maybe if you're very unlucky after like several months, but uh, other than that, I think the build quality is pretty good on this. And hello. What'd you find, brother? Fine. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing much. Amazing. <laughs> Welcome to New Jersey. You get drawings of dicks on the cement pillars. That's what you get. What do they do? SBR for Scott and then another one for Morgan and Scott. WRV. WIVK. I just noticed a minor. I just noticed a minor glitch with the tuning. What happened? Is it slow? No, it's not that. If you like s try to scroll down, sometimes it'll go. Oh, oh see, yeah, it, it goes up. It just did that. It sometimes did it'll that. go up a band, a frequency. Look. Why? Who knows? Don't look at me. That's fucking. Bruh. Can you tune? It does do that. I did notice that while I was filming the tuning. Yeah, it goes up a frequency sometimes with a band. Yeah, I noticed that. Anyway. Psychic has the same issue. Yeah. I don't know if it's a firmware glitch. But, uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, the build quality is pretty good. So, why don't we get into the final thoughts? Shall we? Okay. Okay. Hang on a sec. Okay. The final thoughts on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Anyways, um, it, just like us anyway, so yeah. Anyways, um, the final thoughts on the Eton FRX5 LL Bean Edition. Would I buy it if I could? Yes, because it's it's a rare radio. You don't see too many versions of this particular kind. I think I'm the only one out there known to have a uh, LL yeah an LL Bean FRX5. I mean, the LL Bean editions of any pretty much any Eton radio are almost pretty rare to find. Like the Solar Link FR370s. I've seen quite a few of those, but yeah, but particularly the silver ones are the most rare. The, the 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 red ones and the blue ones are the more common ones. And then you have the green FRX3, that's LL Bean. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one, if I'm honest. If you put a red and green side by side, it'll be like Christmas colors. Yeah. True. Christmas FRX3s. Christmas is my favorite holiday, I will say that. Yeah. Yes. But um, honestly, the build quality is very good, as we discussed earlier. And um, I would honestly get this radio if you could, and if you could find one, that is. So if you do find one yeah. for a reasonable price, Go right ahead and buy one. So, it's really up to you. Right away, I'm in love with this thing. Although, apart from a few complaints, I love this thing. Can't complain. But I'd rather prefer the sidekick over this. I would. So, yeah. So I guess that just about does it. Anyways, 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like this. And also subscribe to the following EAS Test Fan 25 and Thunder Buddy 01, Norfolk Southern Storm, NorCal Dude 599, and even though she doesn't have a YouTube channel. Hi. Show Please her some love. Show her some love. Please send me money. As you as you mentioned last night in the Eton Access review. Please send me money. Yes. Show Break Orbit some love because she needs all of it. Person. Yes, she is real, and we can prove that by being here in Red Bank. So, thank you all for watching. This is Clay Ranger 143 signing out along with the ASS 25 and Thunder Buddy 01. No for Sunday Star? Send me money. <laughs> Give me money. Give me money. I'm Norcal. Alright, on that note, we shall see you guys in a very different location because we are probably going to head back home soon, I bet. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Hey, at least we made it possible. Mm-hmm. Now we did. So, bye-bye from Red Bank, New Jersey. We and we will see you guys in the next episode of Radio Reviews. So, bye-bye, Red Bank. Bye-bye, jetties, lakes, and piers. That's a river. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. And even the plane is waving goodbye. Duck out from the planes, because they're watching you too. So yeah, see you guys later everybody.